Hey everyone, today I am here to share with you the perfect palette tag video. Now I was tagged by Nikki D14 here on YouTube. I will link in the description box directly to her perfect palette tag video. And of course if you make videos, I tag you. If you don't make videos, just let me know in the comments below what palettes you like for these certain categories. I love to hear about more palettes. Not that I need any more palettes, as you will see. So there are eight different sections and I'm just gonna start off and I'll have it all listed down below in case you want to do the tag. So number one is the best packaging. Hands down would have to be my Urban Decay Book of Shadows. This is number four. I know they have a bunch. I don't know what number they're up to now. This is the only one that I own. So as you can see, just absolutely gorgeous. Inside of the top here, there are butterflies. If you can see, lots of butterflies. Really, really cool. The actual palette is underneath in a drawer which I will pull out and show you. So there's the actual colors, very well loved. I've had this for probably two years. I don't know, I got this in a swap. I did a swap a while back in the day with Shades of Cassie here on YouTube. So she got me this and I will never forget where this came from. So that is where I, what the inside of the palette looks like. Just lots of pretty colors. It comes with some extra goodies and the speaker too. I did used to use the speaker, um, but now my, my iPhone plays music on its own speaker. So it's kind of a nuisance to do that. But hands down, the best packaging would have to be that palette. Next is color payoff. Now I did a video on this a long time ago. I don't know. I'll try to link it below if I can find if it's still on my channel, but this is the Click Your It from Smashbox. This is one of their holiday palettes. I don't know what year. Mm, and it doesn't say. I want to say it was like three years ago. This was their holiday palette, but I'll try to show you the colors inside. Very well loved, as you can see, like just chunks missing. Um, there are some like cream shadows on the bottom, but all of these, but... The, the reason I say this is Smashbox has really great pigmented colored paid off, payoff shadows, but this is my only palette I own from them. Um, they have their full exposure one that just came out, but it's just too neutral and it's like my naked palette. But I will swatch, let's see, I'll swatch some of my favorite colors for you. Where did that gold color, there we go. So actually, the, right there. Let me swatch one on my pointer finger too. What's another one I like? That one is one of my favorites. Look, <laughs> very pigmented. There's gold on that one, I guess. Yeah, you can see that one. Go that gold one I loved a lot for the holidays. But very, very pigmented. I feel like this one doesn't get much attention because it was a limited edition palette. And so if you didn't buy it then, then you don't really have it. I don't think it's available. Maybe if you really searched for it, someone has one. But I just really think Smashbox does great for their color payoff for their shadows. And they don't get as much attention as like Urban Decay because I don't think they have quite as many choices for their palettes. But I, now that I'm getting this out and realized how much I love this, I'm going to be using it a little bit more. And I may even look at Smashbox and see what other kinds of palettes they have available. Number three is my vo most versatile palette. This would have to be my 88 color palette, for the Tropical Matte one from BH Cosmetics. That is because I'm going to try to find something to cover up the mirror with... Ugh, I don't have anything to cover them. I'm gonna have to use this other palette because I don't like to shine. Okay, as you can see, it's very versatile because it has every color you would want. I mean, you have all of your neutrals in here, um, your lighter neutrals, you got pops of color you can just randomly pick if you decide that's what you wanna do that day. I like the BH Cosmetics palettes just because they have so many color options. I mean, really, one could own this and be set, but obviously when you're loving makeup like I do, this would not be enough for me. I would just want everything else, but really there's every color you could want in here. So hands down, that would have to be my most versatile palette. It's just got so many color options in there and they really are pigmented well. They last well with a um, an eyeshadow base and they're pretty affordable, BH Cosmetics is. so. The fourth category is for traveling. Now, I have two, but that's because one of them, I'll show you this one first. This one was a gift to me. I did a swap a long time ago with a girl who lives in Switzerland, and I don't know if she still watches my videos or not. Um, that'd be really cool if she did, but she gave me this Deborah Milano palette, and it came in this, like, 
little velvet pouch. I still store it in there. But I love bringing this when I travel because inside, let me try to cover up the mirror again. Inside, it's got lots of neutral colors with a little bit of pop of color inside of there as well. And then it's even got your face products, a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter in some lip colors. When I am just going to go on a quick trip, like maybe the weekend, I will bring this with me and it's got everything I would need in it. If I'm going on a longer trip, I usually want some more eyeshadow options, so I will bring the next thing I'm going to show you. But I wanted to mention this, but it's not available in the U.S. as far as I know. Like I said, she's from Switzerland, and that's where she sent me it from. So I still love this palette, though, and bring it with me when I travel. Then from NYX, the Be Fierce, I bring this with me when I travel, just because it has everything I could need inside of it. Again, with these mirrors. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Lots of colors, as you can see. All of those neutral colors, as well as some random pops of color as well. I like the browns. They're easy to work with in my crease, and then I can just use color if I want. There's enough choices here. There's 25 different choices that you can pretty much work with what you want for that day. And then, in the bottom, there are some blushes, three different blushes, and lips. I don't really use these lips that much, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the lip products in these types of palettes. So really all I have to bring with me with this is a bronzer and maybe like a highlight because they only have the blush in there. But I will say that I have, when I went up to Michigan, I forgot my uh, bronzer and I used this color right here. Um, if you can see that, it was really, really easy to just kind of blend in and it gave me a really nice bronzy shimmery color. So honestly, you could even use that as a bronzer if you wanted to, and it would be all in one right there. So the next category is biggest regret. Now, I, I hate to say that I regret a purchase, but I went through and I did find one that I just don't like, and it is the Week of Makeup Makeup from Pixie. Now, it's a good idea, it really is. There's different categories in here, um, let's see if what I can cover this up with. There's different categories in here for every day of the week. And then there's drawers on the side with more days. And they were labeled. Some of them you can still see, some of them I've used. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are in this other drawer over here. The only reason it's a regret to me is because these shadows are tiny, like smaller than my fingertip. They're really hard to work with. I, the pigmentation is good, I will say that, but I just don't feel like I reach for this that much. It just, there's so much going on in the tiny little shadows. I don't know. I just kind of regret purchasing it. I, I don't think that I would have missed it in my life if I hadn't bought this. So, And I've had it for a long time, and I've barely ever used it, so I would have to say that would be my biggest regret. Then the best color names. So we all know Urban Decay has some pretty crazy color names, but... I went ahead and picked my Shady Lady palette from The Balm. This is volume two. I think there's three of them. But the reason I picked it is because this color right here, this purple, is called Feisty Felicia. And I just love that there is a shadow named after me. <laughs> so there's a lot of other fun ones like Tempting Tara, Makeout Mary, Insane Jane, Just This Once Jamie, Devilish Danielle, Bossy Bobby, Mischievous Marissa and Caught in the Act Courtney. So really, really fun names. And I do like the Balm Cosmetics, their eyeshadows. I love them. They're very pigmented. So I would have to say that was the, the best one as far as color names. Then my least used. Now I'm really sad to say this is one of my least used palettes because it looks like a great palette. And it is when I have used it the few times I have. I just overlook it. This is the Urban Decay. I don't even know what this is called. I, there's so many palettes, and I own quite a few from Urban Decay, but you've probably seen this before. It's got the purple velvet and, like, the shimmery in the inside, and it's got some really gorgeous colors. It really does. I guess I just don't find myself messing with these bright of colors all that often, so I kind of just forget about it, but they're really, really gorgeous. They're really pigmented. Let me just swatch some of the really, really pigmented ones. Like, look at that. Bam! <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe this spring when I'm starting to do more colors, I will make myself pull this out and use it more, but it would have to be my least used palette right now. And then the last is my most used or my holy grail, or I would bring this to the desert island, and of course it's my naked. I mentioned it recently. 
in my favorites of 2013. I used it a ton. Let me get this brush out of there. Oh gosh. You can see I've hit pan on a lot of the colors. If I went to a desert island and I had to have my eyeshadow, it would obviously be the naked. So hands down, this is my favorite palette. And I would recommend this. If you're starting off makeup and you want one palette, get this one. I'm just saying. So those are, that was my uh, be palette, best palette. I forgot what the tag was called, but you can see it in the title. So that was my tag about my palettes. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below some of your palettes for these categories, or let me know if you filmed the video on your channel. Let me know in the comments since there's no video response anymore, and I'll go check it out. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.